The Kevin Costner picture Field of Dreams received a flawless four-star review from renowned film critic Roger Ebert. Field of Dreams, regarded as one of Costner's best sports films, received three Academy Award nominations, Best Picture, Best Original Score, and Best Adapted Screenplay. Although Costner is most known for his westerns, he also left a lasting impression on sports films, especially baseball-themed ones like Bull Durham, For the Love of the Game, and Field of Dreams. In 1989, Field of Dreams was a box office hit, making about $85 million on a $15 million production budget. The script for Field of Dreams was adapted by Phil Alden Robinson from the novel Shoeless Joe by W.P. Kinsella. In the poignant sports drama, Costner plays Ray Kinsella, an impoverished farmer from Iowa who, against temptation to sell his land, builds a baseball field on his farm after hearing a voice warn him, if you build it, they will come. James Earl Jones, Amy Madigan, Ray Liotta, and Gabby Hoffman are also featured in the movie. Why You Should Watch Field of Dreams in September on Netflix Fans of classic Costner films and motivational sports films should not miss Field of Dreams, which is undoubtedly one of Costner's most underappreciated works. Even non-sports lovers can enjoy seeing the movie, despite its focus on America's favorite pastime. It is thought-provoking and entertaining enough. Because of its emotive premise, a father and son bond, and its fantasy components, which go into the paranormal, some viewers could even find it poignant. The movie also combines a dreamy wonder that touches on larger ideas like spirituality and eternal love with the usually fact-heavy realm of athletics. When Field of Dreams came out in 1989, Roger Ebert gave it great reviews. Yes, it's a religious picture, but baseball is the religion here. And Ray is given a vision of a baseball diamond in his cornfield when he is unable to hear the spoken word. I felt myself voluntarily sucked into this fantasy as Field of Dreams built it. A dream-related film is the kind that Frank Capra may have directed and James Stewart might have featured in. One of the movie's themes is how love entails sharing your loved one's ambitions, and Costner and Madigan make such a realistic, grounded, married pair. How Field of Dreams compares to Kevin Costner's other hit movies There's a lot to enjoy about Field of Dreams, even though sports aficionados and fathers who treasure their backyard, catches with their children, might be the ones who watch it most. Most people agree that Costner's film Field of Dreams is among his most memorable, if not his greatest. A compelling and heartfelt message is presented in the movie for those who are prepared to stick with it, even though some reviewers and viewers might not be able to suspend their disbelief long enough to go on the spiritual journey. Few, if any, baseball movies can also make the claim that Field of Dreams has had a lasting impact on the Major League Baseball, MLB. It has undoubtedly made a significant impact on the field of sports films. There's a lot to enjoy about Field of Dreams. One of Costner's most well-adored films, Field of Dreams received an audience score of 86% and a critic score of 88% on Rotten Tomatoes. It was released the year before Dances with Wolves, which is widely regarded as Costner's greatest work, and took home seven Oscars. Field of Dreams has a higher audience score. 82%, whereas Bull Durham, one of his other well-known baseball films, has a nearly flawless Rotten Tomatoes critic score of 97%. To put things in perspective, RT Critic scores for two of Costner's other noteworthy dramas, JFK and The Untouchables, were 84% and 83%, respectively. One of the all-time great sports films is still Field of Dreams. Viewers of all interests can properly enjoy the Costner classic by delving deeper into the film's message, which goes far beyond sports, friendship, and rule books. It's not because of its statistical correctness or realism that Field of Dreams is still regarded as one of the best sports films ever made. Rather, it's because it shows how transcendental love and passion can exist in any sport, not just baseball. A film about a person who risks everything to construct a baseball field where the spirits of well-known MLB players will resurrect may seem strange and absurd to non-sports fans.